previously on Asagao Academy. Miss PBG. He and found he and John founded the Normal Boots Club together. PBG is one of the best soccer players on the team. Those guys over there are Paul, Nick, and Josh. They write a column in the school newspaper called Continue. Paul, the one standing up, is the student council president. And the guy in the end there is Shane. He knows more about video games than anyone. I just finished a good book. I think it'd be right up your alley if you don't mind me saying so. I know things can be, tr can be tough transferring to a new school. If you're ever worried, just read this. It'll transport you 100 miles away in a second. Room 206. That's my homeroom. We're in the same class. Together, we entered Poppy Hall. Poppy Hall was lined with fluorescent lights and Asagao blue lockers. The lack of students mil milling around in the hallway indicated we were a bit late. We ran up the stairs and made it into the classroom just as the bell rang. My heart caught in my throat. Thankfully, the teacher hadn't come yet. Instead, students clumped into tight pods and milled around the classroom, catching up on vacation Thank you so much for showing me to class, John. See you later. No problem. I'll see you around. He waved and disappeared into the wriggling mass of students. I glanced around the room, looking for an empty seat. Hannah! Hannah! Well, she set her line. Whatever. <laughs> Mai peeled herself out from be between a cuddling couple. Was that JonTron? Were you just talking to JonTron? Yeah. Mai's eyes widened and I couldn't help feeling a little smug. Hmm. I realized I didn't know the way to class after you and I got separated, and he offered to walk me. <laughs> Maya emitted a highly pressurized squeal. J John Tron walked you to class? Oh my gosh, you have to tell me everything. She grabbed me by, by the wrist and pulled me to an empty desk in the back corner of the, ro of the room, right next to the window. I saved you a seat. I have to figure out a voice for Maya. I need a more consistent one. I slid in and took off my backpack, hooking it on the side of my desk. I was a little worried that I was a little worried the books inside were too heavy for the bag to handle, but so far I held up well. Um Sorry we got separated by the way. Mm, no, that's not quite right. Sorry we got separated by the way. That's a, that's a little better. It can get a little chaotic sometimes. So, tell me, what happened? What did he say? What did he smell like? Does he have peach fuzz? Is he- is it rough? W wait, what? <laughs> These are very important questions I am asking. You need to answer them. Was his hair super silky or did it have the roughness of a dog's coat? Before I could answer, the front door of the room slid open, and a tall woman strolled in. The class went quiet and obediently slid into their seats. My heart beat furiously, blood rushing through my ears. Class? Good morning, class. No. Mm -mm. Good morning, class. The teacher's melodious voice swam through the room, calming the buzzing hive students back from the break. My shoulders relaxed and my fear ebbed away. I am your teacher, Shizuka Wakahisa. You may call me Miss Shizuka. The emphasis she placed on the word led me to believe calling her Mrs. wasn't a mistake she would take lightly. Some of you might have noticed that we have news a new student this semester. A hail of murmurs passed through the class. Some people glanced at me. Nope, there was the fear again. Would you like to come up and introduce yourself? I nodded, stood and slowly walked to the front of the room, counting my steps, making sure I wouldn't fall. I faced the class, took a, took a deep breath to introduce myself, and noticed a familiar face in the crowd. There was John, sitting with two other boys wearing normal boots club jackets. One of the boys, the tallest one, was staring at me, the barest of frowns on his face. Something about him seemed really familiar. Wait, who's PBG, wasn't he? The other founder of the Normal Boots Club? Suddenly all the strengths left my knees. What should I do? Why was he frowning? Was it possible that I already made a bad impression on him? You have to be kidding on me. Kid kidding on me? You have to be kidding me. <laughs> if he didn't like me, what, what did that mean about everybody else? Wouldn't they follow his lead? I swallowed. The faces of the class began to congeal, forming one giant blob. You moved from Am Amaririsu, right? I nodded and swallowed again. Then, like a beacon of light, I noticed my smiling, giving me a thumbs up. That's right. What am I doing in this situation? Yes, yeah. I've just moved here. My name is Hana Mizuno. I transferred from Amaririsu Public High School. I'm really excited to be here. 
I hope you'll all take good care of me from now on. I bowed my head to the class, and they clapped lightly. When I looked up, PBG wasn't frowning, but he still seemed oddly confused. Maybe he always looked like that. <laughs> Thank you. You may be seated. I returned to my seat, heaving a small sigh. The hardest part of the day was over. Shizuka began to talk about standard procedure for the semester. The rules for classes, when homework was due, that sort of thing. It was all very similar to my old school, and I spaced out in spite of myself. A brief flicker of movement caught my eye. PBG again. I glanced at him, and his head snapped back to the blackboard. What was his problem? Class continued on like that until finally the bell rang, and it was time for lunch. Ah. Uh, Mai stretched her arms over her head and yawned. Man, I hate the first day of class. It's always so boring. Weren't you looking forward to it this morning? Something about exciting things always <laughs> happening? Well, yeah, but it already did. You met JonTron, didn't you? Now I've got nothing left left to look forward to. She sighed. And I was hoping to see Jared before class, too. She slouched and fell across the front of my desk. It seemed like this would be happening a lot. Is Jared really that hot? Mai's head snapped back up, her eyes flashing. <gasps> what did you say? I, uh, I, uh... If you stare directly at him for too long, your nose will melt off. I've seen what? it happen. What? Anyways, let's head to lunch. I'm super hungry. Uh, uh, oh. I looked at my backpack. It held up well throughout class, but I was worried that if I didn't take some of my stuff out now, I might do some permanent damage to it. Especially with Satch's book in there. Couldn't exactly afford a new backpack. I need to put something in my locker first. Oh, no. But if we don't go now, they'll run out of sesame seed bonds. <sighs> oh. That's okay, I'll just go on ahead. Come find me, okay? Alright. I was so lucky to have someone like her as my roommate. Quick as I could, I went to my locker and shoved the book inside. As good as a book it was, I was infinitely happier that I had my around, so I didn't have to read it. Without her, who knew what I would do with it myself? Especially with PBG staring at me like that. Maybe I could ask her what was up with him when I met her at the cafeteria. It might just be the way that he was. Cheered, I headed for the cafeteria. I carried my melon bread throughout the, through the minefield of people, searching for the now familiar sight of Mai's red hair. Oh, I could use some melon bread right now. Where is she? I couldn't see her anywhere, and there were almost no empty seats. All around me, students circled each other, laughing and joking, sharing bites of food and splitting the cost for sodas. Suddenly I felt very obvious, very alone. Isn't there anywhere I can sit? Just then I spotted a table in the front of the room. A lone boy sat at it, stabbing his spaghetti with the vigor of a Roman general. He was having a hard time with it. Is that... Ian? I moved closer to him, working up the courage to ask to sit with him. Well, no wonder, he was eating his spaghetti with a spoon. Wait a second. This guy was in my class, wasn't he? I saw him that morning at the front of the room. He was wearing a jacket just like the normal boots club, but different. But different. A golden gray jacket with an 8 bit block on the front. Doesn't look very 8 bit from here, but. Is he a member of another. of another club? Maybe he was hey. friends with them. Hey, what? Hana! Hana! No, it shouldn't. I have to try not to read their lines when they read their lines. Oh, my! Mai appeared between me and the boy who glanced up at us before returning to spaghetti. Thank goodness I found you. I saved a table for you in the bag. Oh. I looked at the boy and then back at Mai. Come on. She grabbed my shoulder rather forcefully and pushed me to the back of the room. Hey, what's wrong? Oh. You are so lucky. You are so lucky I got here when I did. That kid is Brutal Moose. His, his real name's Ian. He's from the Hidden Block Club. The Hidden Block <laughs> Club? Yeah, the rival club in Normal Boots. He's really weird. I mean, she looked around her to make sure no one was listening in, but we were completely alone in our, in our little corner of the cafeteria. He speaks in comic sans. <gasps> Whoa. Yeah, it'd be better to stay away from him, especially since you already gotten to know some of the normal boots guys. I'm sorry. He speaks in comic sans. <laughs> How do you talk in a pot? What are you talking about? I only just met John today. Uh -huh. 
Yeah, right. I saw the way PBG was staring at you. He totally likes really? you. Really? Is that what you thought it was? Either Mai was blind or she had a serious case of wishful thinking. Oh, totally. It's t it was so cute. Just like my favorite manga. You meet a high school. You meet in high school, fall in love, and then go off and fight aliens together. <laughs> I don't think that's gonna happen. Have some faith in yourself. That's totally what's happening. Um. So now that you're good, you're in good with PBG. Can you introduce me to Jared? Oh, was that what she was getting at? Hot flash of doubt sees me. Is it possible that Mai only liked me because she thought I was with I knew the normal boots guys? That couldn't be the case though. She was so nice. Still, looking at her shining and eager face, I couldn't talk myself out of the idea. Uh... I actually thought PBG didn't like me. What? What? Why would you think well... that? He was glaring at me. <sighs> Man, he, you don't understand. It's a love triangle, a love triangle. What, a, a triangle? I can see it. Starch practically erupted from her eyes. PBG, I can't. But Hana, I I love you. Oh, PBG. Hi, my manhood. Yeah. Where are you going with this? I slammed my fork into the table. Mai looked very pleased with herself. <laughs> okay, okay. I'm just kidding. You're really cute when you blush. You almost match my. You almost match your hair. Th that's not fair at all. I beg to differ. Um. Still, I searched my mind, eager to change the subject. That was an impressive scenario. What? Wh what? No, it wasn't. I just made that up on the spot. <laughs> my laughed nervously. Oh, so that girl who was talking to me when we got separated. Mai told the story of her past friendship with this girl, like they were eternal arch nemeses. Apparently, they had some bad blood. I nodded, choosing, take, choosing to take the time to relax. Before I knew it, we were finished eating. We got up and tossed our trays together. As I headed towards the door, though, my hesitated. Um. Hey, I forgot something back at the dorm. Oh, need help? No, no, I'm totally okay. I'm just gonna go get it. I'll see you later, though, see right? See you later. Okay, see you in class. I waved, and my sprinted off in the direction of the dorms. Alone again, I crossed my arms and headed back to Poppy Hall. Large groups of seven or eight people were laying out in the sun, playing catch or eating lunch on the lawn. It looked like fun to have so many friends like that. I smiled. Maybe this new school would be better than my last. Without students inside it, Poppy Hall looked like a, a bit like an abandoned hospital. My footsteps echoed as I climbed the stairs to the fourth floor. With a sigh, I opened up my locker and pulled out the book Satch gave me. It was a good thing I brought it after all. I stepped into the, into the classroom and saw a flash of movement by the window. A boy sat on the windowsill and he jerked up when I came in. He was silhouetted by the afternoon sunshine, so I couldn't quite tell who he was. Um, I'm sorry, did I bother you? The boy stood and shook his head, then he crossed, then crossed to a desk on the opposite side of the room. As he passed, I was able to see him clearly. Another normal boots jacket? This guy, he was Shane from the normal boots club. How on earth did this keep happening to me? Shane sat down at his desk, fidgeted with his hands a little, then turned to look at me. You're... the new girl? I nodded. Oh wait, Shane has an accent. My name's Hana, it's nice to meet you. He nodded. Mm. Shane. Shane. <laughs> That's better. Silence filled the space between us. Panic built up inside me. There was my chance to get in with the Normal Boots Club, and I was blowing it. I walked to my desk and sat down, setting the book on top of it. You... um... Shane looked at me, unsmiling. You're part of the Normal Boots Club? Yes, I am. Why? He spoke as if it were a challenge, almost glaring at me. Uh... uh oh, I... I just saw your jacket, so... I trailed off. The jackets are really cool. Okay. Yes, they are. <laughs> Silence again. He seemed skeptical, as if he expected me to crawl out of my skin and reveal myself to be a large, amphibious reptile. I had to do something. Who knew when another chance like this would come? But Shane didn't seem friendly. In fact, he seemed downright suspicious. He surely wasn't. Surely he wasn't onto me already. Maybe it was better not to risk it. Um. I want to talk to him, but I also want to give him the space, which is weird. 
Shane is here alone. Like, I could talk to him. It's not gonna. It's not gonna kill me to talk to him. Uh. So you you play games then? Shane looked over at me. I've always been interested in video games, but I didn't get to play them much growing up. They're real expensive, and my dad couldn't afford them. But I used to go over to my friend's house to play there. Shane didn't respond. Now what? I was out of stuff to say. What did you play? What did you what? play? What? Oh, uh, Nario Kart. We'd go into battle mode on triple deck. He would drive around by, by himself on the top level, and I'd try to booby trap the lowest level. There's a good spot next to the ramp. I'd wait there I'd wait there until my mom came racing down the ramp to find me and I'd then smash her with a red shell. Shane's angry stare faded. He was smiling. Sort of. He made the whole room seem ten shades brighter. Or maybe I was more relaxed. <laughs> <laughs> Your mom must have been mad. <laughs> she was. But she always let me do it. Probably on purpose. Did your mom A door slid open. Mimi and her friends, a couple of chattering girls, entered the classroom. They stopped and stared from me to Shane. It was clear that they thought that they thought they were interrupting something, even though we were sitting on the opposite ends of the room. Uh, er, sorry. No, it's fine. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't happy they caught me talking to THE Shane of the Normal Boots Club. The girls went to their desks and sat down. What were you... Shane was staring at me again, a not hurt look on his face. I immediately felt like I was caught doing something I wasn't supposed to. Did he know what I was trying to do? But, I mean, it wasn't like I didn't want to talk to him. He was an interesting guy. It's not like I only talked to him because he was in normal boots. But he turned, pulled out a notebook and some pens and scribbled away, thoroughly ignoring me. The air was stuffy. I tugged at the collar of my, sh of my shirt, sweating. Girls kept looking at me over their shoulders as if they expected something. I smiled hesitantly at them. They smiled back, then started a conversation amongst themselves. The atmosphere was broken. <sighs> I heaved a sigh of relief. What was up with these normal boots guys? John was really nice when I spoke with him, but PBG and Shane seemed to hate me. They were anything but normal. I waited for Maya to come to class, waiting desperately to tell her what happened. But when the bell rang and Miss Shizuka started teaching, Maya hadn't come. <clears throat> Class came and went. The bell rang, and I was alone. PBG stared at me for the entirety of the class period, his face growing more and more menacing by the minute. How his face wasn't stuck in a permafrown, I would never know. Shane and John didn't bother talking to me as they left the classroom, and the other students paired up around me. Hey Mimi, would you like to engage in a casual discourse this evening? Yeah, of course. But why are you talking like that? I stuffed my book into my backpack and headed to the dorm. With a sigh, I unlocked the dorm to my the door to my dorm room. As soon as the door opened, Hana! I heard What? Wait, what? Mai and I le lay in a heap on the floor. I'm so glad you're back. She wrapped her arms around my head and nuzzled me. Oh gee uh, coming out a little strong, Mai. Uh... What are you doing? Come, look, look! She got off me and helped me to my feet. Without my face filling my vision, I saw that something had changed. <laughs> oh my goodness! The dorm room looked nothing like what it had before. Posters and fairy lights were still up, but now the window, the window had light pink curtains on it and cast a warm haze around the room. A brand new white carpet was on the floor. Pillows were piled high in a mountain on the top bunk of the bunk bed. Even our chairs had been replaced with new cushy leather ones. What happened here? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry I didn't tell you, but I wanted to surprise you. I thought this would come in yesterday, but it was delayed by a day. I wanted to set it up to be a big surprise. I'm still not done yet, though. She gestured to some small potted plants arranged in, a, in neat rows around her desk. Want yeah. help? Do I ever. We finished setting up the room and switching a few objects here and there in order to better facilitate the feng shui. Fe, how do we, feng shui? There we go. Which Mai told me he was uh, was excruciatingly important. She especially wanted to make sure our room was filled with reds and pinks and coupled items, though for what purpose I wasn't sure. 
We collapsed with heavy sighs on the floor, then heaved great big yawns. It's not even the end of the day yet, and I'm so tired. Me too. <gasps> Wait! She shot up suddenly with a, jol with a jolt. We should get some ice really? cream. Ice cream? Really? Yeah! Yeah, something to celebrate being roommates. The ice cream here on campus is genuinely good, I, I promise. I don't know. <laughs> and I'm paying. <pain. laughs> well, if that's the case, you made an offer I can't refuse. Sweet, let's go. The school shop was in a side side building off the cafeteria, packed with instant noodles and giant bottles of soda. Students wandered the aisles aimlessly, clearly here to spend more time than money. Mai Ma paid the cashier, and we grabbed our ice cream cones, mine the one covering <gasps> sprinkles. Whoa, this is delicious. Yeah! Isn't it? We're lucky to have such good food on campus. This place would be awful if we didn't. I nodded and was about to respond when I noticed a commotion outside. Ooh, let's see what's going on! Mike grabbed my arm and dragged me outside. There, three boys wearing normal wood jackets were shouting at each other, each of their faces turning purple. This what? again? What are you talking about? Mama mia! Oh god. Oh god, I don't remember the, how they talk. Uh, I am clearly the one who possesses the proper masculine form. Yeah, right. I'm taller than you and more attractive to boot. <laughs> Come on, guys. Can you not see these muscles? Nick pulled back the sleeve of his jacket and flexed, flexed his arm. These guys always go on about weird stuff like this. They're very energetic. Oh, yeah? Josh got into the downward-facing dog yoga pose and grinned. Look at this butt. Just look at this. What I don't understand is why they don't just ask Jared. Oh yeah? Paul kneeled low to the ground and took off took off at a sprint, heading straight for us. Yeah! Check this out. He sprang into the air in a graceful ballerina's leap, sp spinning through the sky, and finally came straight for me? Free, I'm free.